today I decided to remove the adapter plate off my AC50 um, AC motor. This adapter plate and flywheel came off of an Alfa Romeo Spider. It's a uh, 1979 and it was a manual transmission. As you can see, uh, this flywheel is heavy. We have the bolts to bolt it. It's in very good shape. It's like literally like brand new. Um, slightly, slightly used. Um, it is a sax clutch disc and a sax pressure plate and then a stock flywheel. This flywheel is just beefy as can be. Um, flywheel has locating pins so there's only no, there's actually a few ways you can put it on but it just has the good locating pins. Well, I guess this is uh, there's only one way to go with this. There we go. So there is just a single way to go and clutch and then the bolts that hold it together. If you are in the market converting or needing an adapter plate for an Alfa Romeo Spider or the like, I have an adapter plate for you. If you're, <clears throat> I'm not sure what all, all models are working. So we're gonna put this on hold for just a second and we'll return. Uh, pressure plate and clutch disc for the 1979 Alfa Romeo Spider. I'm not sure what transmissions were used in all the Alphas, but if that's one that's from, that came or used in the Spider in one of your other Alphas, this adapter should work just fine. So I think this is a Thunderstruck adapter plate, but I cannot be sure. So these are the main bolts that bolt, bolt the adapt, main part of the adapter plate to the face of the electric motor. These big, these big nuts here mount the face plate to the main, the main adapter here. And then this is the part that bolts up to the uh, transmission here. these big bolts will go down in here and then these ones with the adapter plate or the outer plate attached these go right here this is a precision fit and it is very a very well built And these are the uh, flywheel bolts that bolt the flywheel to the coupler. We'll take a look at the coupler real quick here. So I'm just going to take this off, this off here real quick, just to show you. Adapter plates are hard to come by, they're not cheap, um, but you can get a good deal here. So there's a little ring here that fits over the top of these bolts. It's kind of like a lock washer thing. 
just kind of keeps everything together. And so this is your adapter. So inside here is your taper lock. This is not quite the type of taper lock I'm used to seeing, but it has six Allens to uh, hold it all in place. It has a pilot hole for the pilot shaft of the transmission. I'm just going to take these out real quick just to just to show you. And I like this taper lock because it locks everything square. It's not one of those fiddly kind that you have to deal with. Um, I did have to use a pulley puller to get it off, but it just popped right off once once I was able to break the tension. And, uh, Yeah, I could have gotten my tool to undo this, but I didn't. So those hold the back of the taper lock in place. So this is just a straight cone. You can see the taper on there, and that fits right down inside there. And then you use those Allen heads to tighten it and snug it down onto the shaft and keyway. So it's also creating like an interference fit along with the keyway to help keep it from spinning on itself if it happens to get a little bit loose, which I doubt would happen. Very good quality. This is built designed for the uh, built and designed for the Alpha. Probably not going to find a better adapter plate, uh, build quality wise, um, for the Alpha. And, um, <coughs> and because you can use the, uh, this taper lock, not one of the fiddly kind. Um, this is just going to be a straight drop in real quick. You're good to go. Things are going to be smooth and balanced. And I did run this up on my bench, and uh, and everything everything spun up really smooth. Um, so there was no off balance with this thing whatsoever. And then this piece is just your main, just your main piece that hooks up to the face of the motor. And the C face of the motor fits into here. And then this adapter fits over that. This adapter will handle any of the uh, AC uh, 50, AC 75 motors from HPV, HPVS, um, and any of the uh, warp motors or the uh, Kostov motors that have the um, standard bolt pattern. As long as you have a standard bolt pattern, this thing will bolt right up to your motor. And that's what you want. And um, so you can adapt a, a multitude of different motors to your setup. If you want to go DC or go AC, but it is for the standard type. So your AC, like AC 50, AC 51, the AC 75, the, the dual AC 35, single AC 50 or AC 35 would work. Um, all your warp nine motors would work and um, warp 11 would fit. Cost off, the new cost off 11 um, high voltage motors would fit. And I, and I believe the uh, new net gain AC motor will fit on this as well. So. Just wanted to give you a um, a show of what I have. It is up for offers. It is really heavy. Um, I'd prefer not to have to ship it because, and you would probably prefer not to have it shipped either because it's heavy. Um, if you're local, 
Sacramento, San Francisco, somewhere in Northern California or whatever if you want to make the drive. Um, shoot me a good offer and, um, and you get yourself one hell of a nice adapter plate for your uh, build. And that's all I think we have to show you. <clears throat> so we're just going to set this down here. which way this goes here. <clears throat> screw those in, screw those in. I'm putting these in because I want to keep those bolts so they don't get lost. Put the uh, mounting bolts to the actual motor itself. And you can offer without buying the pressure plate and flywheel if you already have one of those. Um, I don't mind uh, sending that one to the to the junkyard if necessary. And uh, would help make things lighter weight for you. Wouldn't make it any more expensive or, or or anything like that. This is unless you're shipping it. But this is for the adapter plate and coupler for this particular motor setup. So that, so those are the bolts that fit onto the motor. And, uh, and then your coupler, and then your flywheel. There you have it. That's what I have to offer. Talk to y'all later.